I'm running against the most radically liberal candidate that has ever run for the Senate. If you prefer your candidates to be cringy. Radical liberal Raphael Warnock. Ra radical liberal Raphael Warnock. Radical liberal Raphael Warnock. If you like putting a quarter in them to become a broken record. The man standing next to her is white supremacist Chester Doles. And you believe your politicians should have white supremacist fans? Well, boy, oh boy, are you in luck. Hi, Georgia. It's Kelly Loeffler. A woman worth $500 million who chose to protect her own financial interests over the people she was not sworn in to serve, but chosen for the likely rate of millions of dollars to hold Georgia's Senate seat at the behest of Governor Brian Kemp, thus proving time and time again she is for no one but herself. The truth is, with Kelly Loeffler, her own ambitions and her own elite friends come first, and the president, the rest of us, come second. Including the very party she represents that flat out despises her. Folks, this woman is knee deep in the swamp and she just got there. From the family farm to the New York Stock Exchange, from the Atlanta Dream. The owner of a basketball team in the WNBA where the players in her league made their own stand, voicing their displeasure with Senator Leffler, a bigot who endorses a white supremacist president and said this about black lives just mattering. We cannot allow mob rule. It hurts all communities. It hurts everyone. Yet this woman, masquerading as a ho-hum politician, channels her inner Tommy Lauren. Look, you know, sports have tremendous power to unite us. Yes, unite us they can. But in the same token, Leffler quibbled, what I see is politics coming into sports. No one has asked politics to come into sports. Sports are about unifying people. The irony should not be lost on us. Kelly Leffler is a politician who owns a sports franchise. She is injecting her politics into sports routinely. I'm a lifelong conservative, pro-Second Amendment, pro-Trump, pro-military, and pro-wall. When the WNBA resumed their season in the midst of the pandemic, they, like the NBA, painted Black Lives Matter on their courts. Leffler despised it. You know, the WNBA has embraced the Black Lives Matter political organization. The cancel culture is new, Leffler said. It's dangerous, and it's part of the socialist agenda, the Marxist agenda, of some of these political platforms, but every American should pursue the American dream and have equality in life. This is her injecting her politics into her own keen interests that are reflective of her team and league, the WNBA. She cannot possibly bellow she pursues equality when denying black lives mattering. Just like how she claims to fight for free speech but says the exact opposite in infringing the rights of the WNBA's workforce. Actually, allow me to rebuke myself. She appears on OAN for in-person sit-down interviews with conspiracy theorist and noted anti-Semite Jack Posobiec, whom she praised on her social media accounts. She emboldens free speech for noted white supremacists like Chester Doles, seen here at a recent Leffler rally. The fact is, as USA Today's Mike Freeman put it, the issue with Doles appearing at Leffler's rally isn't about if she knew who he was, it's that she attracts that type of person. She's a hypocrite, a flaming pile of nothing, an empty, soulless coward. If Reverend Raphael Warnock, her opponent, was such a radical liberal. I am so humbled to be here with you. Why did she speak at his church and attend services there multiple times? As Ally Resist Programming noted in their dutiful research, she's also, you may find interesting, awful with math and logic. I have stood strong with law enforcement from day one. I've recently introduced legislation that penalizes states and municipalities that move to defund. Nothing says standing with law enforcement like owning yourself by defunding the police further. Leffler? She wraps herself in the flag, blind to all the injustices that surround us. I'm not going to let a political movement, which is what the Black Lives Matter movement truly is, tear our country apart, she said. No, she can do that all by herself. If you'd like to hear more thought-provoking content like TYT Sports on Facebook and to help in my journey to keep media independent, go to tyt.com Rick.